Welcome to another episode of Property Nomad. Welcome to episode 387, Massive EV Lies. Why EVs are not the solution to a greener planet. You probably noticed, just like the rest of us, that there are more electric vehicles on the road nowadays. But although they do have some benefits, there are a lot of negatives. And we're going to explore those negatives because they're coming under this banner of climate change. They're coming under this false pretense that they're actually running one way when they don't. We'll go into that in a minute. But first of all, just to let you know that our friends at Progressive Property are hosting an online uh, service accommodation day on Tuesday, the 11th of July. It's in Peterborough. It's between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. It's completely free to attend. The reason service accommodation is becoming much more prominent nowadays, uh, mortgage rates have gone up. Service accommodation is a great way to maximize monthly cash flow on certain properties in certain areas. And the service accommodation discovery day will give you an introduction to what it is, how it can be done, and how you can get started. It's one of the hottest property strategies at the moment, and you can make a bucket load of cash through service accommodation uh, in conjunction with Airbnb and Booking.com. I say it's completely free to attend between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Tuesday, the 11th of July, and the link for that event is in the show notes, or if you're on YouTube, it's in the description below. So... Back to massive EV lies. Well, EVs are being given to us or being sold to us that they are the, the pinnacle of travel and that they're great for the environment. Everyone go electric. This is what we need to do. I'm here to tell you, sorry to burst your bubble, I'm here to tell you that that's false. That's a complete lie. EVs are really not that good for the environment. Here's why. Number one, what does it take to create an electric vehicle? There are a lot of different components that are required to create an electric vehicle. You're going to have uh, all sorts of material. You're going to have a, a lot of mining that needs to be done. How do you obtain the batteries for an electric vehicle? All the tools, materials, equipment, everything you need to put an electric vehicle together is actually quite damaging for the environment. Why? If you've ever seen anything to do with mining, you'll know that it's not exactly the cleanest process in the world. It is something that is necessary, but it's not necessarily the cleanest. All the materials and tools are the same. No bueno. Are EVs even recyclable is the other question. And this was, someone asked me this the other day, and I have absolutely no idea if they're not. I imagine they might not be, purely because of all the batteries and so forth involved. If you've had, you know, even just trying to get rid of a regular battery can be a bit of a pain in the backside. So imagine trying to get rid of a, a car that's got a massive, massive battery in it. I guess it might not be easy. We have to remember that years and years ago, and I've done some research into this, that a lot of the world was sold a lie on diesel cars as well, saying that you know, diesel's better, uh, less emissions, and a big, big bunch of other stuff that came with it. And that all turned out to be a lie. So who's, what's to say that electric vehicles aren't the same? Is it a big, massive lie that we're being told? You can judge that. I believe we are. You might be thinking, Rob, well, that's fine, but electric vehicles, yeah, they use electricity. Yeah, absolutely, they do. But where's that electricity coming from at the moment? The world isn't generating enough wind power, solar power, in order to use that power that's generated to power your electric vehicles. Absolutely not. The biggest irony and this is what I think people are starting to open their eyes to a little bit more, is yes, 
EVs use electricity. We get that. But the base load at the moment, which is where that electricity comes from, is predominantly coal, natural gas, fuel, oil. The very things that we're trying to get rid of are the very things that are fueling, ironically, the electric vehicles. So people going around, all these good do-gooders, with look at my electric vehicle, I'm far superior to you. Actually, you're probably doing more damage to the environment than if you were to just get an old Ford Cortina and start driving that up and down. Probably actually better for the environment if you were to do that, not have your electric vehicle. But again, it's because we've been sold a lie under the guise of net zero, climate change, environmental impact. More and more people are starting to become aware of this and they're looking at the, the story behind the story, so to speak. This is, what war, this is what we're doing. This is why we create these videos is to get you to push back, but also to get you to think about the absolute amount of BS that you are being fed. So EVs use electricity. A lot of that's base load. Base load at the moment is predominantly coal, natural gas, fuel, oil, and other bits and bobs. So if that doesn't defeat the object, I don't know what does. It's the same with wind turbines. It's the same with solar plant production challenges, all energy intensive and not necessarily great for the environment. So just think about that next time you either buy a new electric vehicle or if you're thinking about purchasing an electric vehicle, just make sure that you are thinking about the narrative, you're thinking about the story that you are being told and you're doing your own homework on it. Yes, on paper, it's very easy to turn around and say, yeah, electric vehicle, much better for the environment. Actually, let, let's scratch beneath that surface a little bit. I would argue that it is not better for the environment because you've got to take into account what it costs to make an electric vehicle. So again, we'll go back, you know, all the mining, the cost of production, putting all those components together, shipping the vehicle across, uh, the battery component itself. Then again, one of the big questions is, are these cars even recyclable? We don't know. I, if you know, let us know on the notes. I'm not convinced that they would be. Have you tried getting rid of a regular battery? It's a pain in the backside. So are we just being fed a new lie? And the biggest lie of all is when you're told it's better for the environment because it uses electricity, mm, not at the moment, because if you like, we are in the UK where, again, a lot of our baseload energy, and this is applicable for a lot of countries around the world, your baseload energy consists of coal, uh, some form of gas, uh, fuel, oil, and other bits and pieces. They're the very things that we're trying to get rid of or move away from, but at the moment, they're the very same things that are powering your electric vehicles and all the charging points, et cetera, et cetera. So keep your eyes open. Just be wary of the big amount of BS that you are being fed from mainstream media. And for this podcast, we appreciate our audience is changing slightly from a lot of property stuff and the travel stuff we've, we, we used to do. Please do continue to share this podcast share this message with as many people as you can. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, press the like button or that and that uh, notification bell. So when new video, new content comes up, you're notified about it straight away. We've got a lot more videos, a lot more content to come. Just be wary of the absolute BS that you are being fed, that we're all being fed from mainstream media. Electric vehicles, are they really better for the environment? I would say, they're probably not. We'll see you in the next video.